hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is ayamide i am a biomedical scientist or you can call it medical laboratory scientist i film about lifestyle career self-development and everywhere i go stuff please do subscribe to my channel check out some of my other videos and join the family if you're a returning subscriber i love you already you're my g in today's video uh, as you guys can tell from the title i'm going to be talking about my internship experience my internship journey in case you don't know what internship is not to worry i'm going to give you guys all the teas all the details about internship in nigeria okay if this is something like something you like to watch then sit back relax and join me so that i won't just come here and come and be blabbing i have the list of things that i want to talk about first what is internship how to apply for internship placement or how to get internship placement then i'm going to give you guys my experience and journey and then how much you can earn as an intern and also what's next after internship so those are the things we're going to be talking about today and if there is anything that i didn't mention or i forgot to mention or i didn't touch feel free to ask questions in the comment section With no further ado let's jump right into the video <laughs> you study medical course in nigeria you study nursing medicine medical laboratory science physiotherapy and pharmacy in nigeria after you are done in university you are expected to do a one-year compulsory internship program internship program is like a work in training like you're working for the establishment and then you are under training like your superiors your senior colleagues are going to be putting you through the work and everything that has to do with what you've just studied in school so when you finish from school you're going to be doing your induction and in on that induction day you'll be given a license but that license is a provisional license it is not the permanent license this license is what will be given to you for you to practice as an intern maybe intern or say or maybe intern medical laboratory scientist so after you are done with your internship you cannot go ahead to apply for your permanent license basically it is like a constant something that is how it is there is no way around it okay except maybe at the daughter of the council president or chairman or whatever but that is the standard way of doing it if you study a medical course okay so internship is for 12 months it is for a year and it depends on the establishment some establishments do it's like okay you are working for 11 months and then you'll have one week leave that's just the common thing okay so and another thing is internship placement is not based like it's not easy i'm sorry in case you guys are hearing background noise i'm so sorry about that we are in nigeria so um for internship placement you need to apply to different hospitals you need to apply to different establishments it's like okay, you're looking for a job it's not very it's not always very easy you have to apply you have to obtain forms some people will sell forms some, some will not sell forms you have to go for exams you have to go for interviews and then they will interview you and everything and then when when you qualify they are going to give you the job so you will send in your cv i'm serious like it's like you're looking for a job basically so the fact that it is internship does not make it easy you have to go through the rigorous stress okay i think that is that about what internship is i have a video on that on my channel so i'm going to look it up here but then for the sake of this video i'm going to, i'm still going to mention some basic things like i said you will need to apply so i'm going to talk based on my own experience now when i was about leaving school I, I i kept sharing you know i kept seeing videos on youtube i kept sharing from people saying that they applied to like 20 establishments before they got their internship placement so people will say they stayed at home for two years before they got their internship placement. i know if you do not do this internship you cannot forge ahead you cannot actually practice as a professional because you don't have the license okay so it's always very i've had a series of stories so i was panicking i was scared two days after my induction i was just scrolling through whatsapp and i saw this advertisement of an establishment that i had always put my eyes on like okay this hospital is actually not bad for me to apply okay so um i saw the advertisement and was going to close like maybe two days or a day after i saw it i had to quickly travel home gather my credentials i scanned them i used my phone to quickly do cv i had to forward it to my friend shout out to you Temita Kwe. so i had to quickly send it to Temita Kwe. she went to submit for me i came for the exam three days after submission i applied everything 
I it cost about five thousand naira to get the form, and then I came from the exam, guys. The exam was actually an exam. It wasn't like this. We sat for the exam, and they said any qualified candidate will be called for interview. I also applied. That was in Oyo State. The hospital is actually a teaching hospital in Oyo State, and then I applied to another hospital in Odo State Federal Medical Center, or what in Odo State. I also went for the exam few days after I did the one I did in Oyo State. So I went for this exam and guys the journey wasn't smooth at all i don't want to let this i don't want this video to be too long that's why i won't be giving you all the details but guys after then i applied to uch in ibado i also applied to the oyo state when i applied to hospital management board in oyo state as i want to submit i wanted to submit for myself and for my friend and i saw the whole file of people that are applying for internship and that was all confirmed into i'm like this thing is really not easy like i'm saying like 200 files i'm not even joking like how is it going to even get to my turn if we have like this plenty of files already but i think that made me kind of like <laughs> i became very emotional about the whole thing i was praying i was thinking to god father lord please come and come true for me da, 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 da. so exactly a month after my induction guys i was giving up i'm not even going to lie i gave up and i was going to go apply for a job around my area so i would stop sleeping at home so i was on my way and the cash that i had with me wasn't even enough for me to go to the place and come back so i was waiting for my dad to take me and then i was sitting in my dad's car waiting for him and then i got this call from the first hospital that i applied to i got my internship placement guys and i was called to resume immediately so i'm going to say exactly a month after my induction i gained my internship placement which was actually very sweet <laughs> so i resumed two days after i got that call i had to pack my bags and resume immediately now let's move to the internship journey I specialized in chemical pathology and that was where i started my internship so it was kind of like i would say i had joy in my heart when i started it was also happy i was so energetic i was so positive minded i'm always very happy to wake up in the morning and go to work wear lab coats and analyze patient sample basically and you know the amazing thing was i met amazing people in this department and they were putting me through the whole you know analysis and her like okay they were so welcoming let me just put it that way they were so welcoming they were so happy to have us spent my first three months of internship in that department and if you're an intern you're going to be doing call duty you'll be doing normal work you'll be doing a lot of things so this department was where i was doing my call duty because that was like my primary place of assignment so even when i was rotating when i was going to other departments i'll still come back to do my call duty if i am the one on call duty so we have two different type of call duty which is almost like the same thing you work for if you work from eight to four and on the roster you are the one on call duty it means you're not going home after 4 p.m when every other person will be going home you're going to be working from that 4 to 8 a.m when every other person will resume but as an intern you do not have the privilege of that freedom so to say so when other people resume back 8 a.m you can go home and come back by 12 p.m to come and do your normal duty work or you can decide to stay from 8 to like 2 p.m and finish your work and go home which is which means you've been at work since 8 a.m the previous day and you're going home the afternoon of the following day then there is this one which is the weekend call duty where you will resume let's say saturday morning you will resume by 8 a.m saturday morning and then you're going home 8 a.m on sunday morning then another person will be going to take over from you so that was how we were doing it for the whole of one year so sometimes you are on call duty back to back sometimes you're doing weekend call duty internship in that department was actually very sweet so when i left chemical pathology department i had one week leave and during that time was when my phone was stolen <laughs> I just had to chip in that one okay so i resumed back after one week leave and i resumed to histopathology department to be honest it wasn't the best of it but it wasn't that bad guys the environment was actually very very beautiful i love the old serenity and how it was actually cool and i worked with amazing people as well but but i do not like the chemicals the the chemicals the um, alcohol the 
you know for malin all those things that they use in that department i do not like it because and one of the reasons is because i am allergic to things like that anything that is too concentrated i cannot withstand it so during those period i'm always sneezing i am always on face mask i'm always so it was kind of like irritating my body system basically so that's the only bot that i have in that department it was actually very smooth i would say after that i went for my one week leave and this time around it was like a new year i resumed in the new year and i went to hematology department <laughs> to be honest guys i'm not going to lie this was the moment that i had a rethink about my career i experienced a lot when i was in this department environment wasn't conducive at all let me not lie like it was a place where my mental health was <laughs> that i had to recheck myself and recheck myself like are you are you okay it was the moment where i had a very terrible panic attack this was a place where i'm happy when i'm leaving the whole house and when i get to the entrance of this department my chest is beating fast i remember i talked to my mom once and i'm like i think i need to drop this license i don't think this is the right choice for me and then she was trying to encourage me my team my friends we were like this is not the end of the world but to be honest guys i'm going to say that you know in life you will have the ups and the downs so i feel like the downs of my internship started when i was in this department it's just about the environment like a place where people are coming in and going in at the same time everywhere is crowded you are walking around, you are hearing <laughs> that place cannot be perfectly silent. That's just the issue. And I don't really do well in a crowded place. Like, why is everybody talking at the same time? Can you guys just keep quiet? This is a place where donors come in, patients, relatives are here for blood, blood transfusion, and everybody's just <laughs> oh my goodness. So from them, I moved to microbiology departments. It wasn't actually that bad. The environment wasn't perfect, but it was a little bit conducive. I mean, I could work. I worked with someone that that had the interest of junior colleagues in heart. Like this, you know when you're working with people that have interest in you, they want you to know everything they know. They understand that they've been working for years and your their year of experience is not the same thing with your own year of experience so if you don't know something they don't criticize you they expect that they are in the best position to teach you and to let you know what the right thing is so i would say microbiology was that point where my mental health was getting stable but it wasn't that perfect because the past two months was a lot for me and i got I lost interest in internship basically i was just doing it for okay let me just fulfill this thing that i'm expected to fulfill and move on with my career basically so that was just it so even though they were trying to make it look simple for me but i was struggling i was struggling guys i was really really struggling so along the line the hospital went on strike during that period and that was when i gained back my sanity <laughs> It was a lot, guys. That was when I came back my sanity. Apparently, you're going to be spending five months in your area of specialization, and then the other six months you are going to use to two months in other specialty, basically. So I came back and I was happy to work, guys. Oh my god, I was so happy to work. My sanity is back. I am so happy and everything. And like it was as if okay, this last two months I need to give my um, best. I will not and then, be telling you guys the exact amount I gained. I'll be the exact amount I was being paid when I was in my internship. But what I will say is payment or salary is different depending on establishment. You know, we have private, we have state, and we have federal. By the way, you can't do your internship in a just any hospital it has to be an accredited place okay so i'm just going to give you guys the range i'm going to put the dollar rate on the screen but for naira is varies it's from between i think the lowest that i've heard of is eighty five thousand. so it varies from eighty five thousand naira to 160 i think that's the highest that i've heard so if you have a contrary opinion please let me know in the comment section there are some establishments that pay below 100 there are some that they pay but i would say majority of the establishments pay from 100k above so if you are seeing an establishment and are paying you it's k okay. it's not it's not worth it though you need to go to where they value you <laughs> okay so um that's that about that like i then said 
when you're done with your internship that's when you'll be able to process your license and after that i can now apply for nyc which i've done already because i'm already waiting for my license and that license you're going to use it as part of your documentation in camp so the next thing after internship is processing your license and also going for nyc okay i think that's that about that if you have any question please drop it in the comment section i hope you like this video share this video to any medical practitioner that you know let them know what is going on especially medical students and i'm going to see you in my next one bye i love you